I'm just avoiding any conflict, because once I get conflict, that's when they start shooting me and ramming into me, and then it's gonna suck. Alright, here we go. I made it, Gotta I think. Go. And... Sorry. Full sync! Climb up, your highness. Where are we headed? I'm Where driving with the work? Maharaja. That's awesome. Or do you want to get in there? Oh, <laughs> I just parked right in front of the thing, so I have to go around the other way. I'm sorry, your highness. Okay, there we go. Dude, fucking awesome. Reached the first politician. Oh, I'm still not at full sync. All right, never mind. I celebrated too early. Crap! Let's see if I can still do it. Follow the rules of the road. Hello! <laughs> okay. Your Highness, what a surprise. I have very important people in my carriage. Oh my god. I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people. It was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Oh boy. Britain oh fuck! Protect me. And I'm also on a timer. Kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty. What is? What happened? Yeah. Read it. Oh my God! Move, fucking tree. Not aware. Good God. Okay, hold on. No time. Pick up speed. Am I gonna be able to get there in 45 seconds? I don't think so. Do what I can. Faster! Thank you, sir. Turn. I it. Trust you and your son will enjoy the oh, that's a great spot to stop. He is newly returned from Delhi. Quickly! Get in the fucking carriage! It is most disconcerting. Can I go? That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. Okay, I now I Mr. Green did not accompany you. Yeah, well he screwed up. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. We did. Well, that I was should a problem. Be. <laughs> one must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like quotation. Yeah. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew you him. Knew him? No, I said it first. Unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. What was my mother's name again? He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well. Cecily Fry. Cecily. Okay. She and your father were partners. Inseparable. The Aww. only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. The real Altair and Maria. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Well, stop. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green love? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Oh, nice spawn! Come on. Okay, I'm in Westminster. There you go. And I'm doing just fine, I think. Slow down. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. I'm already in Westminster, so I can't be too far, right? Good day, uh, sir. Oh, now I need to turn around. Why? What are you doing here, you heights? <laughs> I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all Lots I Lots of dialogue in this episode. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you an Whoa! Alrighty! And what the fuck? The hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subjected to the yoke of an outsider's rule. My people are treated as slaves. Good day, sir. May God I wanted bless to finish the rest of that dialogue, but I guess not. You want me to be fast, but <laughs> You make me interrupt dialogue. Only no me gusta. To the Gladstone residence. Oh. Do you miss India? Oopsie. <laughs> I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again two years before she died. 
Sorry. Why did, why are the dialogues so freaking long if the, you put the objectives so close to each other? And also, you forced me to hurry. Like, really? That's stupid. Okay, I'm still way above 50. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. The Majesty is tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. That sounds a piece of work, it seems. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? Uh. I shall tell you, your highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Ouchie! Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out to their king? Britain is a fire again. Bring about Jesus peace. Christ. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden. Oops. And certainly not the Lolly leader of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank. But one must not tell lies to a king. I must not tell lies. Your honesty is most enlightening. It also makes you him want to punch you. Prime Minister, <laughs> I intend to push for peace. But it will be a long and slow process. And I am afraid so minute, I'm I can almost guarantee you will never see India again. If You're a cocksucker. Free, then my imprisonment shall be no burden. Perhaps your idealism is real. See, like, what the fuck is this? Although, after observing the tigers wandering the grounds of your lush, expensive estate, forgive me for doubting it. Whatever. Much luck, your highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Yeah, you're a dick. Okay, now what? Alright, we're done. <laughs> Thank Britain you, really Mr. wants control of India. For my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad. Broken, even, after your mother's passing. Mm. That kind of pain can blind us. Cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. Okay. I wish you a good evening. Miss Evie Fry. Good Thank evening, you, Your Highness. I like you. You're a wise and peaceful man. How you doing, Evie? I'm doing great, thanks. Okay. Now I need to give the carriage back. Okay. What am I just gonna drive it in there? <laughs> it's like, sorry, I just wanted to go for a little joyride. I guess. Okay. I assume that quote about protecting the ones we love is going to make her go and apologize to Henry. <laughs> or maybe even go and apologize to Jacob, which would definitely be a shocker with how much she's picked on him in this whole movie. Uh, movie? Game? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okie dokie, almost there. Wait. There you go. Oh, I actually have to. Well, shit. Ow. Oh, God. There you are. There, I'm putting it back. I'm putting it back. I, I, I put it back. Ow. It's not about running, it's about climbing, good sir. <laughs> Never find me! As soon as they lose me, I should win. <laughs> Come on! There we go. So, do I have to... I think I have to get back in it now. Oh, that's not the one. There, I did it! Now I can get off and leave. <laughs> oop, oop. 
do this subtly. What the fuck just happened? You scared of a horse? Was there a spider on the seat? <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Done! And full sync! Damn, I'm doing good today. Okie dokie. Well, I just jinxed it, but still. That was actually kind of fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a four. Very good. Okay. Cloak of Victory? What is that? Assassin's Creed Victory? Which is what we thought it was going to be named? Okay, um... Ah, capes. The flame silk is awesome. Cape of Victory. <gasps> Every assassin should be proud of who they are. Not the most discreet cloak to wear, but fortune often favors the bold. I like that. Okay, there we go. I have a new cape, and it looks freaking awesome. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to head for the... <gasps> I think this is the last mission, you guys. Oh my god. Stop fucking looking at me. I wanted to do the special effect thing, but I guess not. Special effect? I'm just in a movie mood today. I don't know why. Alright, I have the carriage. Now let's go. Excuse me, what is that symbol on my map? Oh, it's a card escort. I have not done one of those yet, but I'm not doing one now. Story only. Alright, there it is. I think this is it, you guys. We're going after Staric, and then we're gonna get the shroud. And I parked right in front of a bad guy because I'm super smart. Never mind. Up here. A night to remember. Oh boy. Alright, I think this is it, you guys. I think this is it. I think we're reaching towards the end, and fuck, I have a glare on me. But I think, I don't think you'll be able to see that. What is, what has all of this been building up to? And I don't, I, I'm nervous to see the shroud in action. Of course he'd arrive in that. Nice dress, Evie. You look beautiful. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Am I wearing the precursor necklace? They both look very nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and we're not driving. So, um, what's going on here? You look Go on in, oh, sir, madam. I guess that guy's never laid eyes on the Gladstones before. Is that him? <laughs> that is him. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, fuck you, dude. You're a jerk. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Ouch. Okay. It's time to head in. And I'm playing as Evie. Okay. Oh my goodness, this dainty walk. <laughs> it's like a six-year-old playing soccer. <laughs> they run like this. I hate it. Get your knees up! Run like a man! No, no, she's not there anymore. Okie dokie. Jacob, take my arm. As you wish. Please don't talk so I'm off to meet Freddy. All right. Cut it off, that's good. The plans are located in a white drawing room. Up there. Which is most likely locked. And I can't climb in this dress. The captain of the guard will have a key. Okay. Captain of the guard. Steal one of the keys. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Good lord, stop! Please! Got it! I know, right? I'm just the worst. Okay. I am in an unrestricted part of the place. I feel like I shouldn't be walking back in here. I think all the doors are locked. I'm not even sure there are stairs in here. You look nice. Okay, hold on. Are there stairs here? If there are. Okay, good. Please tell me the restricted area is above me and not in here. I can't do this on my own. 
Oh. Oh. Well. Okay, then. Can I run? Nope. I can literally only walk. That is all I'm doing. Alrighty. I'm nervous. I want to kidnap the guard. Can I do it to you? Without anyone seeing the You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Don't give him a name. Don't be stupid enough to give him your name. I can't run. Still can't run. <laughs> God damn it. No, we're just we're we're together. We're together. Don't worry about it. My arm. The lady is with me. Much obliged, madam. Oh, done. Okay, there we go. I'm in. That hurts. I know. Just suck it up. Be a man. I'll wait till I get up here. Shut up! How'd you become a royal guard? You're no. You're so. What a wuss. That hurts. Okay, now what? Can I. I'll just strangle you. Uh oh. I did not notice her. dreams. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't mind my leg phasing through my dress. Okay, I am... I am in a restricted area still. Just go ahead and mark everybody. Maybe I should have kept my kidnapped person. Whoops. Just gently walk this way. I'm just a lady. How much harm... How much trouble can one girl be? Oh dear. Open it. There we go. I got the key. Okay, I'm in. The plans are somewhere nearby. I want this chest, and this chest I shall have. Okay. Lignum vitae. What the fudging fudge? Is that like for a health upgrade or something? Maybe. Aha! Did I find it? Looks like the plan. Okay, I got it. for the vault. Which is all the way downstairs. So fuck. Um, okay. I just need to get back down. Don't shoot him, please! Hide the body in a carriage. How do I get it out? All right, hold on. Don't, don't mind me, sir. You don't do what I take the vault. Seventeen! Seventeen! Yeah. 